as a technical drawing student, for you to be able to have a basic understanding in drawing, you need to possess some of this drawing instrument. And one important drawing instrument you need to possess is the wheel for you to draw. See your drawing as an extension of you. Now, the second important instrument you need is your drawing board. Now, this is the drawing board, right? There are different designs of drawing board, but the most important thing is you should have a platform that you can lay your drawing sheet. Now, this is a platform, right? After that, the next thing that is important again is your T-square. And this is the T-square. Now, this is the T-square here, right? Now, the T-square is always placed on your drawing board in this manner, right? The only way the T-square operates is to move tangential at the edge of what? Of your drawing board, right? And the T-square is used for drawing horizontal lines. So place the T-square in this manner at the edge of your drawing board, not this way or this way, but like this. If it's not placed this way, it will not be effective in your drawing. So this is one thing you need to put into consideration. The other important drawing instrument is this, your T-square and your C-square. These are what we call the C-square. It moves horizontally along the edge of what of your drawing of your t-square right this is how it moves as the t-square moves in this manner the c-square moves in this manner and this c-square is called your 30 and 60 degrees c-square when it is standing this way the edge here you see is what is 60 degree when it is sitting this way, the edge here, the longest edge you see is what? Is 30 degree. And the other one here is said to be the 45 degree C square, right? This is what we call the what? 45 degree C square. They all move in this manner. On the what? On the T square. Why the T square must be tangential to the edge of what? Of your drain board for these two instruments to work the way they supposed to work, right? Now, as we move across the video, our tutorial, our lecture, I'll be telling you on how to make use of each of these instruments. So if you really want to learn from this video, from the video I'll be posting time to time, you need to possess every one of these instruments I am measuring. Now, the next thing is your clutch pencil. There are a variety of pencils you can get depending on you. One of a pencil is your clutch pencil, or we have the 2A, the 2B, the 2H, and so on and so forth. So it depends on the pencil you want to use. The most important thing you have a pencil that you draw with, right? And there are two ways you can sharpen your pencil. Either you use the conical form or you use the chisel form, right? When I say conical form, I will explain as we move ahead in the video. And when I say chisel form, I will explain also as we move ahead in the video. Another important thing you need to have again is your compass. Your compass, your divider, and your French curve, and so on and so forth. This is how the French curve looks like. Now, this is how the French curve looks like. This is French curve here. We use it to draw elliptical shape, arcs, and so on and so forth. Right? We have another one that is called the flexible curve. Depending on the one you want to use and you can use effectively well, right? And we have what is called the masking tape or you use your taco pin to hold down your drawing sheet. And the most important thing is your drawing sheet, which I'll be exposing and I'll tell you about it in the next video. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.